Good morning, math wizards and math masters. Welcome to lesson 18 of module 5. Uh, we're going to continue to add and subtract fractions, but we're doing something a little bit different. And if you do have your problem set, it is page number 175, lesson 18 problem set. We're just doing page 175 today. And our first instructions are to solve uh, one way to solve, uh, show one way to solve each problem. Express sums and differences as a mixed number when possible. Use number bonds when it helps you. Part A is partially completed. Well, let's go ahead and show part A. And it's two-fifths plus three-fifths. And here's something new, plus one-fifth. Okay, that's adding three fractions. We haven't done this before. There's a couple of ways we can approach this. You could just think, well, why not just go 5, 5, 5, 5, make that a 5, and then 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 1 is 6, and we have 6 fifths. But there's another way to go about this. Let's add these two together. 5, 5, that's the denominator, no need to change. And then we have 2 plus 3 is 5, and what do we get? We get 5 fifths. And 5 fifths is one whole, correct? So now we have 5 fifths plus 1 fifth, which also equals 1 plus 1 fifth, and that equals 1 and 1 fifth. So that's just a, a, you know, you could do this way and then figure it out using number bonds, or you could bring it down like this. Let's show, uh, go ahead to our next problem, B, and it is 3 sixths plus one-six, plus three-six. And I want you to look at that and think about a strategy you could use to create one whole and then have a fraction over for a mixed number. So what two could we add to get one whole? Well, if you're thinking three-six plus three-six, you're absolutely correct, because three-six and three-six would be six-six, right? And then we would just add on the one-sixth. So we'd have one whole plus one six, making it one and one six. Okay? And let's go on to the next one, C. And our problem is five sevenths plus seven sevenths plus two sevenths. So we got a, something going on here. We already have one whole right there. So what I could do is just cross this out and do 1 plus. Now I have 5 sevenths plus 2 sevenths. What would that equal? Of course, the sevenths doesn't change, and 5 plus 2 would be 7 sevenths. What would that equal? It would just be 1 plus another whole, 1, which would equal 2. And we could also look at it, if we were to add that straight across, just see what we would get. We'd have 7 as our denominator. Add our numerators, 5 plus 7 is 12, plus 2 is 14. We can say 14 divided by 7 equals 2. A couple of different ways we can approach these problems, as you're finding out. Let's go to our next one, and it is a subtraction problem. And it's 7 eighths minus 3 eighths minus 1 eighth. What would that equal? Let's just have a little fun. Now let's make a tape diagram. And we're starting out with eights, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eights right there. And let's color in how many? Well, we're starting out with seven eights, right? Let's color in seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So there's our seven eights. And now we're going to subtract three eights. We're left with four eighths, and then we still have to subtract that one eighth. So what do we have? One, two, three. And we could just go seven minus three is four. Four minus one is three, and we'd have three eighths. Okay, let's go down to our next one. We're moving right along. And our next problem is seven ninths plus one ninth plus four ninths. So there's our problem, seven ninths plus one ninth plus four ninths. Hmm. I don't see how I could add any of these up to get one whole. Definitely gonna have an improper fraction, it looks like. 
But let's see what we can do. Hmm. Maybe I can add the seven and the four. Seven ninths and four ninths. Let's give that a try. Seven ninths plus four ninths equals what? Well, I'd have seven plus four, I'd have eleven ninths. And we can use number bonds, right, to break this down. I'm going to cross those out as a reminder that we're using them. We solved the one ninth up there. Let's go ahead and break this down to nine ninths. And what do we have left over? 11 minus 9, 2. There's two more ninths and two ninths. So we have 1 and 2 ninths. It makes it a little easier to get around and wrap my head around it now. So it's 1 and 2 ninths plus 1 ninth. Well, what would that be? All we have to do is add the fraction, right? So 2 plus 1 is 3. That would be 3 ninths. And the 1 just stays the same. 1 and 3 ninths. Let's go on to our next problem. We got 4 tenths plus an improper fraction, 11 tenths plus 5 tenths. So he's going to get a sip of his coffee. If I was in class right now, you'd all say, some of you would say, oh, it smells like coffee in here. And I would say yes, because I'm drinking coffee. So let's see what we get here. 4 plus 11 plus 5. Hmm. Let's go with the 4 plus 11, okay? 4 tenths plus 11 tenths. How many tenths will that equal? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 tenths. And we'll do a number bond. Remember, these are both going to be tenths, right? So we have 10 tenths. And how many are left over? 5. You'll see 10, plus, 10 tenths plus 5 tenths would equal 15 tenths. So now I have 1 and 5 tenths, okay? So let's make my one hole here plus 5 tenths and plus this 5 tenths up here. So 5 tenths plus 5 tenths is 10 tenths, right? So we have 1 plus 10 tenths, which would equal what? 1 plus 1 hole plus 1 hole, right? And there we have it. Alrighty, let's take a look at our next one, G, for those of you that have the problem set at home. We have one whole minus three twelfths minus four twelfths. A couple ways we can go about this. Let's do two, two different ways. Alright, let's start off with a tape diagram. And how many units are there going to be in this tape diagram? 12, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12. So it's one whole, right? So we're going to shade in all the units. So we have them all shaved in, shaded in, not shaved in. And let's subtract three. One, two, three, and then we'll subtract four more. One, two, three, four. So we should have one, two, three, four, five twelfths if our problem works. How we're going to do it another way is we're going to take that one and we're going to make it twelve twelfths. Then we're going to subtract three twelfths. Twelve minus three, twelve, eleven, ten, nine. So we have nine twelfths. Then we're going to take our 9 twelfths and minus 4 twelfths. 9 minus 4, 8, 7, 6, 5. We have 5 twelfths here and we have 5 twelfths up there. So two different ways to approach that problem. We're going to continue on with our next one, which is G, I believe. No, H. <coughs> and it is 1 and 2 thirds minus 1 third minus 1 third. Okay, let's look at this a couple of different ways. I, rather than dealing with a tape diagram or converting this into a, a thirds with number bonds, let's add these two together. What's one third and one third? That would be two thirds, right? So now our problem looks like this. One and two thirds minus two thirds. A lot easier to wrap your head around that than this way. So I just take one and two thirds minus uh, two-thirds, what do you get? Well, two-thirds minus two-thirds is zero, so you're left with a one. Ta-da! 
All right, here we go. This is the tricky one now. It's a really a little bit different from what we've been doing, and it's going to require a little more brain power. Uh oh. Calculating Cat does not have a growth mindset. He does not want to do the big one. Come on, Calculating Cat. We can do this together. Okay, thank you. He never wants to try. Okay, so we have 10 twelfths plus 5 twelfths plus 2 twelfths plus 7 twelfths. Wow, it's a lot of twelfths. Okay, let's um, go ahead and just add these two together. 10 plus 5 is 15, so we get 15 twelfths. So we have 15 twelfths plus 2 twelfths plus 7 twelfths. Now I'm going to use number bonds here. I'll make 12 twelfths. How many are left over? 3, right? 15 minus 12 is 3, so 3 twelfths. So now I know I have 1 and 3 twelfths here. So let's start adding the 3 twelfths plus the 2 twelfths plus the 7 twelfths, okay? I'll say 3 twelfths plus 2 twelfths plus 7 twelfths, okay? 5, 7, wow, I'm at 14 twelfths, right? Excuse me, 5 plus 7 is 12. 5 plus 7 is 12, so I'm at 12 twelfths. So all these added together were 12 twelfths, but now I've got to add on the second 12 twelfths, and what would that be? 12 twelfths plus 12 twelfths would equal 2, right? Simple as that. See, it wasn't so bad calculating cat. All right, be sure to get in your 25 minutes of Imagine Learning and IXL today. It's Wednesday. And hope uh, you're enjoying your spring break. Thank you for joining me for these lessons and trying to stay up to par with all our math. And I will see you tomorrow.